Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, in the previous video, uh, we had seen the importance of adding a 0.5 uh, when we convert from uh, float to fix, right? So we saw that there was a very good uh, uh, precision uh, and we didn't uh, lose uh, any information after uh, performing uh, the example uh, operation that is multiplication, right? So in this video, we will mainly look into two more operations which are required while performing the multiplication that is rounding and saturation. So in the previous video, we had not done any rounding and saturation. So, but uh, uh, in the practical system, uh, when we are writing the code, we have to implement the rounding and saturation. So I will take one example uh, to showcase that, uh, you know, uh, this rounding uh, will help us to actually get the better accuracy. So let me start with the example that is to multiply 0 0.8 into 0 0.8. Okay. So 0 0.8, how we are going to convert? So again, I am going to take the Q format 1.0.15, right? So I have to multiply by 2 to the power of 15, then I have to add 0.5. We saw the importance of this 0.5, right? So what is the value? So I am going to calculate uh, using calculator. So just uh, give me a couple of minutes. So this is 26214, right? So now uh, A, in A we have 26214. I'm not going to write the data type here, okay? So it is uh, in 16 underscore T. Now B also the same data type and 26214. Now how are we going to do the multiplication? A cross B. So uh, these two, now we'll be stored in 32 bit number. So we need a 32 bit uh, number that we had taken as a result, right? So what is the value for this? Uh, 26214 uh, into 26214. So we are going to get 6, sorry, 6, 8, 7, 1, 7, 3, 7, 9, 6. All right. Now, you know, uh, in the previous video, I was mentioning that to convert back uh, uh, to the required 16 bit, uh, you need to drop, okay, you need to drop uh, um, the last 16 bits. For that, we need to do the right, uh, right shift by 15. Right? Before that, uh, you know, first we have to do what is known as rounding. So we will see the importance of this uh, rounding, okay. But, uh, uh, you know, let me go through the procedure which we followed in the previous video. So now if I uh, do the, um, you know, right shift by 15, what is the value that I, I gonna get? Okay, so now this is result, right? Result is equal to result. So right shift by 15 bits. Um, so then finally I will store it in Z. Uh, Z again, it will be in 16 underscore T. So that is uh, you type cost and uh, you take the result so this value is 20970 right so again how do you convert back so this finally z will be 20970 how do you convert back to float so you need to divide this number by 2 to the power of 15 right so if i divide then i'm gonna get value 0 0.639953631333 but so if I multiply these two numbers so what is that uh, I should be getting 0 0.64 can you see that we did not uh, get uh, the very accurate result there is some loss uh, then what about uh, the addition of this 0.5 this did not help because uh, this this value is 26214.4 okay so plus 0.5 so this uh, value did not increase to 26215 right it is it stayed at 26214 so there was loss in the beginning itself from float to fixed conversion and uh, that is that is uh, you know <coughs> Sorry, so that is uh, carried uh, uh, in the final result. Now, what if we would have done rounding? Okay, so rounding is um, when you got a result. 
so you need to perform the rounding so result uh, is equal to since we are using q1.0.15 you know the rounding for to perform the rounding rounding like you know we need to add 0.5 right how do you add a 0.5 for this format 2 to the power of 4 divided by 2 to the power of 15 you're gonna get 0.5 so here uh, you know we need to add um, so or you can say 0.5 into 2 to the power of uh, 15 if i multiply then i will get 2 to the power of 14 so we need to add one right shift 14 so this is like we are you know going to add 2 to the power of 14 right so which is like we are in the floating point we are trying to add 0.5 so what was our result? <coughs> result was 68713. Okay, 68713. 7173796. 7173, sorry, 796. Right. To this I have to add to the power of 14. Let me see what is the value. Plus two to the power of fourteen. So the value is six eight seven one nine zero one eight zero. Now you know you have performed the rounding operation, right? So now what do you do? You uh, you do you drop the last uh, fifteen bits, okay, to get back to uh, the original Q format. So if you are going to do right shift by fifteen, which means divide by 15 so here you're gonna get what the value 20971 so that we are stored in z right so if you see this z the previous z was 20970 here 20971 okay if i convert this into float then you will see that we have a better accuracy so i'm going to convert it into float um so i got 0. Um, six three four four nine zero nine six six eight let me see what is the value six three nine nine we got here we are getting six three four four oh somewhere it's wrong right um so what is the value it's it's better right so let me do it oh sorry i did a mistake actually uh, <clears throat> while dividing okay so let me redo it 20971 right it's 20971 actually i had given 20791 so that's where i think uh, i got uh, the wrong value in the calci but uh, this is not the one so i got 0 0.63 9984 so my previous value is six zero double you can say six zero point six three double nine eight okay zero point six three double nine five so the previous value is zero point six three double nine five so you can see this is five this is eight so this value is much closer to the actual value Okay, anyway, uh, in the beginning, uh, while converting from float to fix, uh, even though you have added 0.5, we lost the precision, right? Here, we, even though we added 0.5, we could not reach to 26215. So, that's why we expect that there is, a, there is a loss, definitely. But we can minimize the loss by doing this rounding operation, and uh, we are seeing that, okay? So, this, this is pretty much close to 0 0.64 rather than this number. I hope you got... Uh, uh, the rounding operation um, you know why it gives a better result so once we have this number there is a saturation function also right so we have to do saturate so there are cases where you know uh, after multiplication your number can uh, there can be a bit growth there can be a overflow in which case uh, we have to represent uh, that with um, uh, uh, other q format but if you want to keep it in the same q format then uh, there will be there will be saturation so in the next video i will try to take an example to showcase the saturation but i will just uh, present here how to do the saturate so once we have um, what do we have we have z 
all right so now um, this z okay um, the thing is um, still uh, since uh, uh, you know i am considering the saturation still this uh, z i will not take it as z i will still store uh, this uh, uh, you know number in result only because the result i had considered in 32 underscore t right so initially it was storing this number then uh, with rounding we added this so it stored this number and uh, to that i have performed right away by 50 so still result is showing uh, storing uh, this number okay so now result is 20971 right and it is int 32 underscore t now you say um, if um, if the result is uh, so yeah greater than 32767 this is nothing but actually 2 to the power of 50 minus 1 if it <coughs> then we have to saturate okay so then you can take uh, the in 16 underscore t because now it, uh, whatever number we gonna saturate that will fit in this uh, 16 bits so in 16 z uh, is equal to uh, you type cost uh, the result so this will be uh, yeah, 32767 okay uh, else if so you need to check on the other side as well right like i mean in the negative part so if it is 32768 then uh, your z okay the same same thing should come here uh, is equal to like i mean if you are writing a constant it's already in the in 16 so you need to type class so minus 32768 now else if it is else then it is something like uh, you know your z is equal to now you have to do actual you know, time cost because you are converting 32 bit into 16 bit in 16 underscore t time cost result okay so in this case this doesn't satisfy this condition does not satisfy this condition and finally you know the result will be time costed within 16 and is stored in z and uh, that is where we will have our uh, final result so i hope you got the clarity in the upcoming video we will uh, i will try to see you know uh, i will try to come up with an example where i can showcase uh, uh, the uh, the saturation uh, uh, effects um thank you very much have a great day bye bye if you are looking for more videos like this please do subscribe to the channel